All right, guys, this is David Sikkim, a comic, doing a comic book haul, but it's going to be a little bit different. As you can see, I got a new stand, purposely of this haul right here. <laughs> this is just a protocol or just, how, how would you say it? It's a beta version of it. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. I feel a little kinks and uh, some little bit more upgrade and just overall it's like i said it's just uh, what you call it uh yeah a demo i'll talk about it more but just like to display my youtube channel youtube and things like that anyway guys um this is my first haul out of 2000 in 2024 hope you guys had a great year and uh happy new year and all that blah 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 and um, if this is your first time to my channel, please subscribe, comment below, and let me know what you think. And give this thumbs up and so that it kind of works in a favor of, in the algorithm. So anyway, hope everybody is doing right. So let's start this thing with some of the books that I picked up at the local LCS. Some I drove like about 45 minutes to get some of these books and some... And picked up for a dollar or five dollars and things like that anyway let's start with this one here innovation publication legends of the star stargazers uh issue number one and there's also issue number five that i picked up on a dollar bin dollar bin um <laughs> i don't think they knew what they had but this is if you guys know you know this is adam hughes cover this part here kind of wraps around and at the back it says Hugh, which it normally doesn't. That's his old signature. Nowadays, he just put a big capital A-H. But before, he used to have his whole last name, Hughes, signed next to his art. And found out this was Adam Hughes' cover. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And also, number five. So they had issue number one and issue number five. And that's pretty much it. I think this uh, from from what I found out, this is the uh, six issue mini series. So there's one, and only could find one and five. So hopefully, maybe finish this one, get the whole run. <laughs> we'll see how lucky I get. All right. They also had this in a dollar bin. Um, so this is Amazing Spider-Man seven. This is one of the ten design variant cover done by uh, Patrick Gleason and kind of tells you the new uh, new suit from Oscorp it's called <laughs> right here Oscorp suit right so that is that with the glider and things it's not bad pretty cool all right so went there had all this for a dollar guys for a dollar I think I spent about $75 there and I'll kind of show you why um, that's a Venom burst I bought a dollar first appearance of Kid Venom kind of has that horror um, yeah pretty cool pretty cool and also this is the cover that I was kind of having a little FOMO over but they had it there uh, for a dollar <laughs> for a dollar yeah uh, which LCS you ask? Maybe you didn't ask, but I'm gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you because that's my honey hole. Uh, so, and also, of course, this wasn't a dollar, but they were selling this for five dollars. I figure eight ninety nine cover price. Batman issue number one foil picked up for five. Yeah. And they had this fire part, um, issue number 26. They had three copies, but I'm just going to show you one. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. But yeah, by David Aha. Uh, just like the way that this came out, kind of had the same feel that Scarlet Witch, I believe, was issue number six. Or yeah. So picked up three, but I'm just going to show you one. Great cover. I heard that this fire part run by uh, Robert Kirkman was done pretty well um, so anyway that's that and uh, yeah this was also dollar book uh, secret war a book of 205 
Uh, this is the gold, uh, this is the foil variant of edition. Cover done by Gabriel Delado. Also, the interior is also done by Gabriel Delado. Um, pretty good read if you, if you read. It's Kima not too long ago, but um, yeah. Bendis probably did a pretty good job, and the ending is just pretty fucked up. Anyway, uh, also first appearance of Quick in this issue. And yeah, for a dollar, they had Ultimate Fallout number one, not the four. But this is the San Diego Comic Con uh, edition. Um, so, so that's that. And uh, yeah, shout out to, this is not a dollar. Uh, this is uh, a book that I picked up from uh, Instagrammer, I, uh, AB Comics, uh, really great seller, really great guys, um, show some really banging books and sometimes, and lots of time he lists a lot of the books that he's, on, that he's selling and uh, he listed this, made a deal, the only issue that, I, that you can see is right here, where is it, right there. It does have a color breaking tick, uh, but very happy with with the deal he gave me. And uh, yeah, Ultimate Spider-Man issue number one, Bendis cover done by no uh, Bagley cover done by Bendis. All right, so that is that. And also, this is up as well too at the local LCS. This is Firepower issue number twelve, I believe. One of the 25 sketches covered down by McFarlane. Yeah. And uh, for, for a dollar. <laughs> for a dollar. Yeah, you know what? I think 2024 is a pretty good year for me. Getting really banged. Um, this one here wasn't a dollar. But this is Daredevil 595. Um, one of the 100. Uh, this is cover done by Hel Hellebrandt or something like that. Um, this really great cover. Kind of has that painted oil paint feel to it. Uh, this is one of the. This is a new art that. Uh, it's just a five issue art that uh, when Kingpin is the mayor of uh, New York and he does everything in his power to bring down Daredevil. Really great. He, that all right the next one here is one of my favorite cover done by art germ especially on this title vampirella this is the what they call the f bonus foc uh, issue i believe the ratio was like one out of 15 uh, when it was announced at the very last minute um this is what they call the ghost some people call it the charcoal uh, but i just call it the red eye variant Cover done by yeah, Fair Parallel number six. Really, really cool. Just gotta love that red eye. All right, the next one here is Godzilla War for Humanity issue number three. Um, I forgot who the I think more I think was the uh, something more, but anyway, one of twenty five incentive. This was part of the Stein, um, not top ten, but. Um, not, not top 10, I guess they call it anyway. Supposed to be a rare book to find. It's not, I mean, I found two issues uh, within two separate uh, LCS, and one I purchased it for for ratio, but had a lot of issues, had a lot of issues on the spine. Anyway, long story short, so that it got this one as an upgrade, so paid double the ratio on this one. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool cover. I, I, I'm sure it's, it's not an easy book to find, but I was very surprised that I could find two here in uh, in Washington. Okay, so next book here. This was also a dollar book at the same LCS that I picked uh, the other ones up at Sensational Spider-Man. Uh, issue number 35. And uh, this is the New York Comic Con back in 2007. So covered down by Angel Medina. Um, yeah, so it was pretty cool. I picked this up for a dollar. 
And I tell you why I picked up everything as a dollar because toward this last book right here. Okay. This last book right here. This is Thor issue number one. This is one of the 1000. All right. So he had this and I had all that bunch of books. And he wanted, uh, I think it was 150. There's no way I was going to pay 150 for this. So I checked the sold price on eBay, kind of show it to him on a near mid condition. This is not a near mid at all. It has some spine tick issues, breaking colors in the back. Um, but got all this, got all that $1 book along with this and uh, made a deal. So came out to a point where everything else came out. I think I told you about I think I spent 75 so with that I think I spent a little 50 bucks on this one here but one in 1000 not bad Jack Kirby cover, cover remastered um, I think I did pretty good on, and everything and there's some other books that I will show you um, on my next haul I just kind of fit everything in here but um, more books to show you guys more hauls to come and I uh, hope you like what you saw comment below gives us a thumbs up and i'll tell you more about this the process um, of this comic stand for comic book call or display anyway until next time guys shoot all right guys this is david sick and Amy comics gonna try doing a comic book call which been sitting here for for a while now and this is my very first 